Hello and welcome back to Transports Fever Series 3, The Great Western Railway. Thank you very much for joining me in this video. Last time out, we were we just started the series and we put in a few industries. So you can see we've got a few quarries here, a quarry up there. Um, we've got a quarry there towards Luton. We've got a couple of quarries there around Oxford going up towards Bicester. We've got a couple. And then we've started putting in uh, coal mines and things like that. So... Um, uh, this is a quarry where's a coal mine this is a coal mine oh no that might be a coal mine as well so we've got some coal mines some quarries iron mines things like that all around the area that we could actually find so i was trying to put them in fairly realistic locations which means that wales has a lot of them in this episode we are going to be starting to demolish all the cities bringing them down to just a very very tiny bit so that we can have a reference as to where we need to build things and we might start putting in maybe some of the farmland or things like that if it's possible but we also need to smooth out a number of little bits and bobs on this map so make sure you stay tuned for the next 20-25 uh, minutes for that Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start demolishing all of these. Now, I really, really should have... I've, I didn't think this through when I was designing it. Um, that I wouldn't want to do this. But the reason I designed that like this is that if I was to release this on uh, Steam... Let's put this down whilst we're uh, demolishing things. Uh, if I was to put this on Steam, I would want to be able to... The name's gone. I would want to be able to give the players a chance to actually just let this grow of its own accord as well instead of not having any of these towns. So that's why I did that, but I didn't think about the whole demolition aspect. So we're going to get, get straight on with doing all the demolition. Right. And what I'm going to do is I'll, I am going to just leave that tiny block there in fact not even that tiny block just that bit there to mark out where Bromley is uh, the, I'm sorry not Bromley that's uh, going to be that's Ilford right so it's yeah that's going to be Ilford uh, we've got Enfield over here I'm going to pretty much demolish everything um, on this side And I do hope we get to a point in this series where, for example, I get to put in the M25 or things like that because I think it will look really, really cool. I'm just going to leave that little bit. Uh, down here we've got, what, Croydon and um, Epsom. Yeah, I, I can't remember what this one is. That's Croydon. I think that's Epsom. So what on earth is this? We'll find out in a bit. But you can see this is kind of a a really big deal in terms of getting to the point where we're going to be able to start putting in roads and building things. So I'm being very, very uh, sort of haphazard in many ways as to what I'm deleting. See, that's, that's the kind of problems I was trying to hope to avoid, but unfortunately that's going to happen. Go. And of course everything is going to get deleted, it's just a matter of putting the roads in and then working it out from there. Right, so that's that area done. Who and what are you? Hold on, let's think. Who are you? You're Epsom, you're Bromley, of course. I used to live there. That's embarrassing. No, not all of it. Not all of it. Just that bit. That's better. And there are loads and loads of mods I've got in this series, and I'll be sh I'll be running you through some of the mods very very shortly. So I think as soon as we get we've got a whole bunch of this done. Of course, there aren't that many to really go. Uh, we've already started and it's, it's a fair amount through. 
but it will give us an idea and I'm not going to actually smooth out all of this area just yet. First I'm going to delete it, so that gets rid of that. So we've got Bromley, we've got Croydon, we've got Epsom there. You can see it leaves the trees. That's the annoying part, it is going to leave the trees, but those should be fairly good, uh, fairly easy to remove, actually. Uh, over here, I actually feel like just removing that one, just leaving that little bit. Let's get rid of most of London. That's always uh, good. Now, unfortunately, because of the size of the map, the map size is actually not quite... Well, it's, it's, it's far from real, uh, real size. We have a 32 kilometer uh, size of the map. I think it's 32 kilometers. I think it's, it's 32 kilometers from there all the way across the map. Now, in all honesty, it's probably supposed to be 32 kilometers from from here all the way across to around here. That's how much it's supposed to be. So, as you can see, we've not we've doubled that, we've tripled that, we've quadru uh, quadrupled that. So, unfortunately, it is going to look uh, maybe just a little bit off, uh, but it's not going to be too bad. This is Crawley. Now this is going to be an interesting one to make, and again, the the important part here is, for me anyway, is the fact that we are going to have, uh, we've got areas that we know we can connect up to, so we know that these areas belong here. We're not going to have any population limits or anything like that, we're not going to be able to check any of that in this series. This series is a pure building series. I think we just destroyed Guildford. Or we're destroying Guildford now. Alright, time to go ahead and destroy Ealing. Alright, out goes Ealing. This is all going to have a railway line running through it as well. Um, out goes Wembley. Bye bye. There we go. Uh, who are you? Not too sure. Wait, are you Brent Cross? No. No, no, no. You're probably Enfield. And then you must be St. Albans. That's rather large. I wasn't expect. No, 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 no. This has got to be something else. What's up top here? This has got. This is Enfield. I don't know what the other one is then. I'm getting very confused here. Once you start deleting things, you start losing track of where things are supposed to be and where, where they're supposed to be placed and all that kind of stuff. Hopefully, you guys are not bored of the um, noise and bulldozer yet because there's still more to come. Alright, that's Luton. This is Hemel Hempstead? No, this could be St. Albans. Okay, I'm confused. Let's let's have a look. This is St. Albans. So who are you? You're Watford, Edgware. No, there's Enfield. Right, I was gonna say, that was too close to Wembley. There's Enfield. Edgware, Watford, Wembley, yeah, Ealing, that's fine. Let's get rid of St. Albans. Some of these are obviously old towns, so we're going to see them. I think all these towns existed in the 1800s, so we should be good. And Luton, in a way, I just uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to play this one. It really built a lot bigger than I thought it would, which is unfortunate. Yes, just get rid of everything. Come on. But this is one of the fun parts of Transport Fever: is actually demolishing things. Uh, it's it's good. There we go. That's Luton. All right, so that's that entire area done. Should we get rid of Brighton? And now uh, you see, Brighton was the problem. Brighton, I really shouldn't. I should have been very careful with. Unfortunately, I was not. And I have a feeling Brighton is going to be one of the biggest problems of this series. Uh, trying to get train lines in and out of Brighton is definitely going to be a problem. Uh, Worthing, 
We're okay. There we go. And that's probably to do with the height map as well. Who are you? Bognor Regis, I think. I think this is Bognor Regis. Can't get rid of all of that. Alright. That's down to this little bit there. And then we've got... What's this? Chichester? I think. I don't know why sometimes it asks to confirm destru destruction, other times it doesn't. Maybe there's certain buildings in the way, or in that area, that sort of require some sort of extra help. Okay, let's get rid of Windsor and S Slough. Wow, we spent 11 minutes just demolishing things, that's fantastic. Or around 11 minutes. So, again, the reason I'm demolishing things is because I, I need to be able to sort of build things wherever I want. So, we've got a fair ways through. Uh, Reading, definitely. Let me, let me just get over to Reading and work on that. Right, this is a... Uh, who are you? Aylesbury? Maybe. I think you're Aylesbury. Are you? Yeah, Ellsbury. There you go. And this is a big one. This must all go. Because the station is actually going to come in here. This is where the station is going to be, on the riverside. On the banks of the Thames comes the station for Reading. Right, where am I going to break up until... We'll destroy all of this stuff. For all of that. There we go. We'll just leave that bit there. So, I mean, the, the Reading station should sort of come in just there. That's where I want the station to come in. Didcot. You're nice and easy to get rid of. There you go. Simple. Oxford. Somehow we've got to fit the university in this. We're going to have to figure out how we're going to create some sort of resemblance of the university. That's going to be really quite important. And also, because of the hills, the, the railways are going to be interesting too. Uh, Bista. Goodbye, Bista. Okay. That's actually... We're we're getting through a lot of them very quickly. What do we have left? Not that many. I'm just thinking whether we should complete them all. Probably not the greatest of ideas to complete them all. Let's get rid of this one. What's this one? I'll zoom out and find out. This is... Not a clue. Uh, not a clue. Okay. That this looks like Salisbury. Prena or written or spelt Salisbury. Actually, no, that could be Salisbury. Ah, okay. That looks closer to Salisbury than the other one. Let's find out. Yep, that's Salisbury. wonder what the other one was then. And the other problem is there aren't certain rivers in places, so sort of there should be a river going through here, but we couldn't put it in. Uh, Southampton and Portsmouth. That's nice and easy. These are going to be easy to get rid of. Fairly flat land over here. As, as you can expect. That's Portsmouth gone, and that's Southampton about to follow. Come on. Yeah, Southampton gone too. Leave the Isle of Wight for now. Let's leave it alone. I think that's everything in this area completely 
demolished. Should go destroy Gloucester. Dr. Foster went to Gloucester, found nothing because it was destroyed. There you go. Done. Uh, we've got a few towns around this area that we still need to get rid of. This is the demolition episode. Definitely the demolition episode. And it's important that I go through this, so this is part of the whole of the whole process. The only thing is, obviously, I can't time lapse this just yet, um, which is why I'm doing it live, or should I say live? I'm doing it in real time. This is not going to be an episode well received. Here's Bath. Good. Unless people, you know, are really quite interested in seeing how I'm thinking about things. So we're going to have a motorway going through there at some point. We need the old Roman roads as well. I think I might start with those roads because we're going to have... If I can get roads like Wat, uh, Watsling Street and uh, things like that in, that's going to be really important because that might help me from the Roman roads to start building all the rest of them. So maybe I need to start getting the Roman roads in first. Oh, Bristol's gone. How are we looking on the towns anyway? We're almost we've almost destroyed most of them. Gives you a real time idea of how long it takes to destroy these things. Just to think, I put all this work into building these towns and figuring out where they're supposed to go, and now I'm just destroying them. Uh, down here, this is what Yarmouth. I can't remember. I think so. Unfortunately, my knowledge of this area of the United Kingdom isn't perfect. Weymouth, not Yarmouth. There you go. There's a mouth of some sort. But yeah, my knowledge of this area of, of the UK is definitely not great. Going towards Dorset and Devon and that sort of area, I don't know. Because I haven't actually travelled here. I'd like to, I'd definitely like to, and I think I will at some point. Okay. Can't remember the name of this place either. Bridgeford? No, that's alright. Bridgewater. Bridgeford's over there, isn't it? This is Western Supermere. Okay, never been here either. Um, right. We're really looking pretty good over here. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do the rest off camera. I'll, do, I'll delete the rest of the cities off camera. Uh, but what we need to now do is, for example, look at this and just run along the river and make sure things are okay. And that's, that's what we've got to have a look at all the way along. And that's going to be really, really quite important. That's going to be really, really quite important. So let's go ahead and start just in small places, just a little bit smoothing out. And of course, with, with all of this, we could just go ahead and start smoothing all of this out already. We are going to be starting in London, so we might as well do this. There you go. Looking good. And we are going to have to put in a lot of forests and all that kind of thing. So I've got some of the mods that I've got. Forestry. Um, we've got the farm. We create farms. We've got fencing. We've got a lot of stuff. Uh, uh, um, and I do mean a lot of stuff. Now, unfortunately, what's going to happen is I'm only going to be able to put in major roads. And that's where I'm going to have to start. Well, if we could start with major roads. And they may not be completely accurate, and I do apologise if they're not. But I'm going to try my absolute best. And the first year that we're going to sort of have going with that is going to be probably the year... 
1888 um, ish or thereabouts. Okay, so that area is done. Let's run along the river. Everything along here seems fine. These lakes seem fine. Unfortunately, I don't think there's much I can do about things like this. You can see that there's just some some weird bugs going on. I tried everything to fix this, but I just could not. I just could not fix that. All of these seem fine. The river starts to get a little bit deeper along here, or the cutout, because it doesn't seem to like going up and down. So this is where I'm going to smooth out these, for example. Just for gameplay sake, I'm going to smooth these out. And same along the coast, um, along the banks of the Thames in Reading. I'm going to really smooth that out a bit, just for gameplay sake. I suppose I can smooth this as well. And for those people who are following along, this is probably a really good idea to do if you're going to be end ending up doing the same when I release this uh, map on on Steam, in the workshop. Now this part is absolutely fine. Uh, it's going to be weird to take the trains across that crossing there. I think the, that's where the Great Western goes. This I'm going to do something about. I have to smooth this out. There we go. Right, and the same thing here. Just going to smooth that little bit out there. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't smooth this out on map generation because it was just being really awkward. And you can see that there's these few marks here and there with the textures being odd, but don't worry about that because I'm going to find a way to fix that because we're going to have a lot of trees. You see, in Britain, we have a lot of trees. Um, and I think in terms of forestry, 12 or 13% of our land is just pure forest. Uh, so, you know, that, that is a fair amount of land for a tiny little island. That's a lot of land that is just pure forest. Then we've got a load of farms. So we've got forests and farms in a number of places. And then every city tends to have a lot, and I do mean a lot, of trees. Um, I think I read recently that if Britain didn't have humans on it, uh, this entire island would just be a massive forest. It would just be a super-sized forest. So, you know, that, that, just, that just shows you what you know, what we have over in the United Kingdom and, and what we're like on that. Let's just do that. I think everybody in the United Kingdom generally loves trees. We really, really do like trees. Right, that looks pretty good. Let's have a look now over to over on this side. Uh, I don't really fancy doing much there, but I'm just going to actually end up smoothing that out because it didn't work for us. I see it, maybe the tiniest bits of water, that's absolutely fine. That was an experiment that failed. Uh, Bath and Bristol seem good. Let's just run a quick one over on that. There we go. Guess I could just smooth all of this out whilst we're at it. I said I wasn't going to smooth this out, but, you know. Right. There you go. That looks pretty good. Let's check out over Gloucester. In fact, this area is probably absolutely fine. Uh, whatever, I'm going to do that here as well. There you go. Thank you, Dr. Foster. Right. That's good. That's good. Chepstow. This area we don't have to touch whatsoever, but what we can do is we can demolish this town. Bye bye, Chepstow. M48 is going to be running over around you at some point once we build the M48. That's going to be an interesting one. Goes across there, I think. Uh, right. Everything looks good over in Newport as well. Let's go ahead and demolish in large chunks what we can. There we 
go. All of that. All of that. Lovely. All just smooth. This doesn't require too much smoothing at all. Just up here. But the rest of it's all done. Okay. Western Superman area. Everything's fine. These ones here. Yeah, I'm kind of okay with those. This one down here. I'm liking it a lot. Bridgewater all looking okay. Yep. Rivers look fine. Maybe just that little bit there. Let's fix that. There we go. Done. Fixed. Just do that as well. Uh, Taunton. Yeah, I definitely couldn't remember that name. There we go. Looking good. Yeovil. Bournemouth is... Right, how are we looking on the edge of Bournemouth? Ah, here we go. So I want to fix things up. Let's fix up the co coast of Bournemouth just a little. There you go. Done. Similarly, we'll probably need to check out Portsmouth. Oh no, it didn't actually get to the edge. Oh, it did here. But that's absolutely fine. Southampton was just here. So we just need to fix that up. We'll take a look at Brighton. Brighton's going to be the pain. And also, this is where I'm going to end the episode now that we're sort of we've got this going going on. Bognor Regis, just that little bit there. But we can always flatten the rest of it out quite easily. Worthing. Absolutely fine. There done. Brighton. Trouble. Alright, let's see what I can do here. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. I will be okay with that. All the little lakes and everything around this area seem fine. I don't have any other issues around the Thames or up the Lee. No issues around here. I'll sort out Luton. I suppose whilst I'm here, let's sort it out. And I'll start doing my outro. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video, subscribe to the channel for more videos on Transport Fever Series 3, the Great Western Railway, extreme builds I suppose we could call it, because that's exactly what we're going to be doing. Um, between episodes I will get rid of all of the other towns, we've only got a few left, so for example Cardiff, Bridgend, Port Talbot, Swansea, um, uh, Merthyl Tidfil, uh, Abergavenny, or however you pronounce that. Um, Minehead, Barnstable, Exeter and uh, Exmouth, Newton Abbott is what's left to go. So I'll get rid of them bef between episodes. Uh, don't forget to support me on Patreon. www.patreon.com slash ecgadget. Your support would be massively, massively appreciated. It would really, really help me out. Also, you can find me on Twitch. www.twitch.tv slash ecgadget. And on social media at ecgadgetlp for both Twitter and Instagram. That's all from me, and I'll see you guys next time in Transports Fever Series... Ooh, that's going to be a problem. In Transport Fever Series 2, or Series 3, the Great Western Railway. That's going to be a big problem. I'll see you guys then.